My question is to the Minister for Climate Change and Energy. This government promised Australians a $275 cut on their electricity bill by 2025, but households in my electorate of Lindsay are owed $1,027 cut to deliver on this promise. Today's release of draft regulated prices for electricity confirmed this government's failure to deliver, with annual bills in Western Sydney up 37 per cent on early 2022. Will the minister admit this promise will never be delivered? Yeah. Order. The member for O'Connor will cease interjecting. Order. Members on my left, give the call to the Minister for Climate Change and Energy. Appreciate it, Mr. Speaker. I thank the honourable member for her question. And what the announcement by the Australian Energy Regulator today shows is that energy prices are stabilising and falling after the biggest energy crisis the world has seen in 50 years. And I would have thought, Mr. Speaker, Order. I would have thought that is welcome news Never for the House. Poor. They're against welcome Deacon news for the House. Now, nobody rejection. should underestimate the cost of living pressures that the Australian people are under and the need to be constantly vigilant to do more to help Australians with those cost of living pressures, including when it comes to energy Member prices. Morton but warned. It, is, it is a welcome fact that the Honourable Member's constituents who are on the Osgrid uh, network, or sorry, on the Endeavour Energy Network, Mr Speaker, uh, would have received a residential uh, reduction in prices of up to 7 per cent. And small businesses, small businesses on the Endeavour Network, which covers the Honourable Member's electorate, Member receive Lindsay a reduction of 4.4 per cent. Now, that's a good thing, Mr Speaker, and we welcome it, while recognising that there is much, much more work to do. Now, this a is a result, Lyons Mr Speaker, of several rejecting. things. These, these announcements today by the Australian Energy Regulator are a result of several events. They're the result of the coal and gas caps that have been put in place by this government, which those opposite voted against. Voted against. So they are the result of reducing international pressure. We pointed to the international pressure when prices went up. We point to the international changes when prices go down. They are the result of getting more renewables into the grid, Mr. Speaker, because renewables are the cheapest form of energy. Always sets them off. Always Order. sets them off, but it's true. And it's, all, and it's also, it's also the result the of a request by uh, myself as the federal minister, supported by state ministers, to the energy regulator to prioritise the needs of consumers, which overturned a previous request from the former Minister for Energy, the former member for Kuyong, Mr Speaker, changing that direction to the Australian Energy Regulator, and that has been reflected in the results today. And these are all, these are all positive developments and a welcome Order. development in the face the, of ongoing, ongoing pressures. The Minister will pause. Has the Minister concluded his answer? The member for Lindsay on a point of order. Point of order on relevance. I specifically asked, will the minister admit his promise of two hundred and seventy-five dollars? Will... The minister is being very relevant with his answer regarding the question he was asked about prices, about the updating the house on why he believes the prices are the way they are. I appreciate there was a part of the question the, that the member wants, but he can deal with the entirety of the, que entirety of the question. That's what he's doing. The minister has one minute remaining. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I do, I do appreciate the sensitivities of those opposite who voted against the coal and gas caps, voted against the energy rebates that were in the budget, which provided support to millions of households, Mr Speaker. I also understand the sensitivity of those opposite because this is the default market offer. The draft that Member was released today, Fisher. that was released in accordance with the law, released openly and transparently. I did not sign a regulation to hide it. I did not, I did not instruct the Australian regulator today not to release it. It is possible to do such a thing, Mr Speaker. It has been done in the past. Uh, the former Minister for Energy signed such a regulation on the 31st of March 2022, which I table, Mr Speaker, signed by the member for Hume instructing the Australian Energy Regulator not to release a 20 per cent increase in power prices just days before the last federal election, which was a very dishonourable thing to do for the honourable member. Order. The House comes with far too much noise.